episode of Three Average Guys Reviews, we're going to be doing the ultimate sub $100 mini red dot challenge. So why are we doing this? Since the advent of the Micro T1, they've become super Gucci. Many of the other companies have decided to introduce their own Micro Red Dot. Every week, the shooting community gets hundreds of these in the mail, and they all have red dots in them. And they're all cheap, and most of us, because we believe they're crap. And to be honest, nobody's going to shell out the 50 or 60 bucks to find out that it is a piece of junk. So we've kind of bitten the bullet for you. There are good reviews out there for one or two of these. But most of them will say, this site is good because I bought it and it's better than all the others. And they have nothing really to back it up. So on this episode, we're going to attempt to do an accuracy, reliability, and durability test of pollution these options. We're going to attempt to zero at 25 yards with 12 rounds. Then, and then we're going to shoot these with various calibers to check the durability of them with 9mm, 45, 12 gauge, 308, 762 by 54. And after all that's conducted, we're going to do a drop test and then a dunk test or submersion test in water to see if all our seals hold. The first test is packaging test. The reason we were going to go and check the packaging is they've skimped on the packaging, what else are they going to skimp on? Is the packaging reusable? Can you store the site in that packaging? Is it vibrant? Can, does it stick out from the rest? And general chintziness. The Bushnell TRS-25 was picked up for $84.95 from Amazon.com. Comes in a brown four color print box, which is heavy duty and heavily padded. The contents of the box include the site itself, rubber lens covers, an allen key, a very nice blue lens cleaning swatch, an instruction manual which also has a two-year limited warranty within, plastic bags that everything came in, a card for Folds of Honor Foundation so you can donate money and support that, and a registration card. The actual box itself is heavily padded and everything fits nicely inside for storage. Second place would have to be the Bushnell, which is a, a dark brown. It's a well-constructed box. It have lots of padding, foam padding inside. For the Bushnell would have to be the second place, the NC Star Micro Green Dot with integrated red laser was picked up from Optics Planet through Amazon.com for $57.99. It comes in a decently constructed box with a lot of padding. It is grayscale print, it is heavily constructed, everything fits nicely inside. The contents of the heavily padded box comes with a spare CR20323 volt battery, two Allen keys, one for mounting, and one for the laser, a standard lens cleaning swatch, a warranty card, an instruction manual, and a warranty registration card. I don't know what VISM means and there is no reference to the abbreviation or if this is just the model type or if this is a new new direction for the company, a new model designation but um, it's the VISM, V-I-S-M. Third place would have to be the VISM. It's also um, very stylish on the outside. It's a well-constructed, it, it's shiny. So for all of us OCD, ADD people, it gets your attention. Construction is very nice. It has a lot of padding inside. The next thing we looked at was the initial appearance what the item looked like when we took it out of the box. What did it come with? Did it look like it was a big bag of crap? Did it come with any extra equipment, such as uh, scope, cap covers, cleaning rags, anything like that? Was there any warranty? Where was it made? Initial appearance of the Bushnell TRS-25. It's extremely nice and good quality. The light intensification goes up to 11 with one dead spot or off position. The elevation and windage is at the top and right. And the light intensification knob is on the right hand side but canted at a 45 degree. The mounting position 
to Picatinny rail is by an Allen key included in the packaging. The lens assembly is quite nice and so is the rear. It just looks like a very decent sight. Uh, the housing is in good shape, no nicks or scratches, and it's coated in a black coated with the Bushnell insignia on the left hand side. The lens covers on the Bushnell, I'm going to call these the D style lens covers. One side is elongated, one side is bulbous. Um, the larger lens cover fits on one side and the smaller lens cover just slips over top of the rear lens. I, not, I don't like how it secures to the rear lens, but it is secure. It doesn't seem like it's just going to fall off. The front lens cover is extremely on the sight itself, and it, it won't ever fall off. It doesn't look like it, but um, it's rubber, and you shouldn't have any issues. Bushnell, very well constructed. We didn't have any issues with it. We, we really, the only um, Bushnell got second place, which was very hard because the fact of the matter is, as far as construction goes, everything up to about eighth place, would tie. There were only small little things that separated the rest of them. They were all very well constructed and almost identical in some aspects. The Bushnell, appearance-wise, initial appearance, got second place because of its differences. It's not the same as the rest of them. They're not using stock parts from the same sources, uh, manufacturing sources, it seems that Bushnell completely designed the scope, and from what we can tell, it is it is very well constructed. You, when you opened up the package, you you knew immediately you were getting what you paid for. It, um, nothing seems to be cheap, and so we gave it our second place. It's um, just because of the differences from the rest of the flock. Uh, initial observation of the of the NC star green dot with integrated laser. The light intensification knob is on the left hand side. It goes from zero to five and has two positions, a B and an L laser, which is what the L stands for. And then B is for both the laser and the red dot. The front lens construction is the same on most and so is the rear lens construction. It's fairly sturdy looking. The mounting is done by Allen key. The windage and is on the left hand side and the elevation is on the top. Same thing with the laser is adjusted by Allen key and it is on the top and left hand side. The NC star has no markings on the body other than what seems to be milled into the side very lightly and it says VISM, V-I-S-M. Other than that, there are no NC star markings on the scope itself. The rubber lens covers are in line. The rubber on both sides of the lens cover, the straps identical length. The front lens cover is rather thick and slips completely over top of the lens, where as with most, the rear one just slides over top and is held into place over the rear lens cover by pressure from the rubber straps. Third place is the Vism by NC Star. It, it seems to be, again, very rugged. It's probably the second heaviest uh, next to the True Glow, but it comes with a laser. It comes with a laser and it's a red dot. You can use both at the same time, but it comes with a laser. And I'm a guy, and as soon as you put a laser on anything, and I think that's the whole reason there's a laser on this, we shall see how it performs, but it's got a freaking laser, all right? It gets third place. Other than that, manufacturing quality is right on par with even the Bushnell and down the line. So, I mean, nothing really separates it there from the rest of the pack, but it's got a freaking laser. So it gets third place. Bushnell also co-witnesses. It has an extremely fine point. I want to say the cleanest point at low levels. The Bushnell will co-witness as well, although this also, Bushnell sits low to the iron sights. Um, the first thing I noticed is, I don't know if you can make it out, probably won't, but the numbers on the tumbler, on the numbers on the knob face you with the dot. So you know you are at six, you are at seven, you are at eight, where with all the other ones, you have to take your face from the weapon and look to the left or to the right of the weapon to make sure that the weapon is uh, what number the intensity is at. I mean, yeah, you can just twist and find out, but here you can actually visually look without having to remove your cheek weld. I did notice that right away. Um, it is a little detail that no one else does, and I, I find that to be 
um, a little extra that nobody else has. So high marks on that. The Bushnell, like I said before, the Bushnell is extremely fine. That's at setting eight. But if I go all the way down to setting one, camera cannot make it out. It's very hard even for the average eye. I have 20-20 vision. And you can say that that's for night vision capability. At four, it starts to become visible. It's very fine, and it is one of the cleanest dots I've seen so far. And as you go up the intensity, seven is where it starts becoming very bright. But at no time, even at the highest power, 11, is there any ghosting. And it retains a very tight dot. Um, the next was the Bushnell, which just had a fantastic, fantastic um, sight. And it would have been number one for the ability to see what brightness you're at without having to take a look. But um, that wasn't enough to bump it because we're not talking about functionality. We're talking about the cleanliness of the dot. And it just rated number two. The NC Star, also a cool witness right out of the box. But as you can see here, it also has alignment issues. Even with the riser, it's too high and it sits flush on the Picatinny rail too low. The NC Star will co-witness. It's just the alignment is low to the side the iron sights the dot is very clear and there's almost there is no ghosting at any brightness level there is a laser which is what the l stands for l's for laser and then b is for both the laser and the red dot and um the nc star got our our fifth place um, we just find that the green is extremely bright and that might be great for target acquisition and, and getting on the target quicker But the, the, the green especially in this was very reflect reflective uh, just because how bright it is It's reflecting off the rear lens and so extremely bright Raise your